With your Illustrator file set up and making sure that all colors are spot colors, um, you're ready to color separate your data. And you're going to do that in the print window. So you're going to go to File and Print. And we're not going to actually print anything. We're actually going to save a file out using the print window. And we start that by where it says Printer. We want to change that to Adobe Postscript file. When we do that, it changes the print button from print to save. So now we'll be able to save this file. We next need to set the media size. This de design was designed for an 11 by 17 sheet of paper. So I'm going to set my media size to tabloid 11 by 17. The next thing I want to do is go to output. And under output, I'm going to look at mode. The default should be composite. I'm going to change composite to separations. And separations gives me access to this menu down here and I can turn off my process colors only leaving my uh, spot colors. This is why spot colors is so important. You need to use spot colors so that in this step you can say just use this color layer and use this color layer and when you hit save it'll create a document with those two colors. So that's my next step is I'm going to hit save I'm going to tell it where to go. Uh, let's go to pictures and we will name this circus. And it's going to be a postscript file, so it's circus.ps. Save that. Now it saved the file, but you're not done. There's one more step before coming to the Reso Lab. You need to convert that PS file into a PDF. And that's easy. I'm going to go to my pictures folder. I'm going to go find my file, so circus.ps. And I'm going to open that up in preview. And you'll notice that I have two pages here now, and it's color separated it for me. So it put, if you, if you look back here on my design, okay, uh, we have seafoam green on top here and purple on the bottom, okay. So here, seafoam green is on top, purple on the bottom. So this is my purple layer, and this is my seafoam layer. Okay. Now, up here, it says circus.pdf. Um, in order to open a PS file preview, automatically converts it to a PDF, but we need to save that as a PDF so that we can bring that to the Reso Lab. And we do that by going to File, Export as PDF. Now you may be tempted to just go ahead and hit save and call it good, but the problem with preview is if I hit show details here, uh, preview defaults at 8.5 by 11. So if I just hit save, it's going to save it as 8.5 by 11. But if you remember, this was designed for 11 by 17, so I need to export it as 11 by 17. So I need to change my paper size to tabloid, which is 11 by 17. And then I can hit save. And I can close this. I can open my finder. And there is my circus PDF. It opens in Adobe Acrobat. I now have my two pages. I am ready to go to the Reso Lab. I'm ready to print this file.